Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I got myself everything that I wanted. Why? Because we're going into quarantine. It was a little over $200 worth of things. I'm building up my tax write-offs for next year. I got a head start. And if I'm gonna be stuck at home, I might as well have a little fun, okay? Also, I did my makeup today. And that's on trying to make yourself feel better during a quarantine in a world pandemic. Okay, we're gonna start off with something that I couldn't buy a lot of because my pockets wouldn't let me, but that's okay. That's okay. 900 a billion dollars, okay? This man can buy 100 Ferraris and 100 Lamborghinis like it's nothing. And then there's me telling myself not to buy food on my lunch break at work so I can save some money. <laughs> this is the Holbein Acrylic Gouache Set. I really enjoy gouache. I have a commission that I'm excited to use these for. The cool thing about acrylic gouache as opposed to regular gouache is that once it's dry, it can't be reactivated. So it's easier, in my opinion, to layer. They're so beautiful. This is like a paint where I didn't expect myself to get it for like a while, you know? I really treated myself. <laughs> Next thing I got is the Dr. PH Martin's oil. This is an oil. It's just India ink, like all the colors of India ink. I really like using inks. I tried inks, you guys saw that video. I really liked using it. So I wanted to get all the colors and I wanna have fun. I like these inks for the same reason I like acrylic gouache. It's because it, once it dries down, you don't have to worry about it anymore. And it lasts a really long time. Like the light fast of this or something art is a process you learn slowly as you go unless you go to art school and then you learn it all at once condensed and good for you but not everyone can do that even though i kind of did that Ooh, ooh, i kind of did that Yikes! and next thing is i'm like shook about this one so i've been watching this youtuber's videos and everything they make is so stunning and i instantly bought this these are oil pastels, by the way, and all of the pastels are much larger than I expected. So I really do feel like I got my money's worth and all the reviews said that the recipe of these oil pastels are very amazing. It is from South Korea and I know in like Korea and Japan, they do more art things as hobbies. So like better products are cheaper. I think I'm so American and then the last but not least. I have been saying that I will not get this until they put out the 120 set because I am an all or nothing bitch. The Ohuhu gods looked down upon me and said, yes, my child, here are thou markers. So I got the 120 set of the Ohuhu brush markers and I am so hype about these. <laughs> Shut up. As someone who has spent a dumb amount of money on expensive brush markers, I'm very excited to no longer have to do that. I wanted to get the skin tone set as well, but that one's all sold out and quarantine is official now. I cannot get anything else. I cannot. I have to do with what I have. What I have is a plenty. I do not need to be complaining. I am so grateful for being able to purchase these things, especially right now. I still have a job. I'm working from home. I am financially able to buy myself things to entertain myself during these times. I just got Animal Crossing for the Switch. Like, are you kidding me? I sit on a hill of privilege that I never thought I would ever be on. And I'm so, so grateful. I'm not rich. I'm a double income household and I don't have any children, okay? I'm privileged. And I know this time it can feel very powerless. But here's some things you can do to add positivity to the world. Feel free to donate a little bit of money to your local food pantries. You could also write letters to the elderly in nursing homes. You could also check in and give a little positivity text message to the ones that you love. I don't know, just little things. Little things that you can do from afar. And that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Stay positive, be positive, spread positive. Now I'm going to use these items, give them a good old fashioned introduction into my life. We'll have a good old time together. I'm so excited. <laughs> Switching over to voiceover, Patricia. In this first spread, I just want to experiment with all my new materials. I'm not too focused on how amazing everything turns out. I'm mainly focused on getting to know the things that I bought. When I was first starting the sketchbook spread, I was getting very nervous. When I was using the gouache paints, I realized that they work very differently than my cheap gouache that I'm very used to and it wasn't exactly turning out how I wanted it to. So 
when I was painting over my portrait, I was getting a bit disappointed because drawing people for me is very difficult. Having a sketch that I like and then feeling like I'm messing it up when I'm coloring it in feels terrible, to be honest. So I had to mentally remind myself that it doesn't have to be perfect. I just needed to work as hard as I could to get it okay and to get familiar with the materials. And once I took that pressure off myself, I feel like things started to flow better. And you also have to remind yourself that it's not gonna look good when you're working on it. Like in the beginning stages, in the middle stages, maybe even up until the end, it's gonna look bad. <laughs> it's not until you add the final touches that I feel like things start to come together. Something really cool I've been seeing in myself is that I'm becoming more comfortable with being uncomfortable. So like a few months ago, you wouldn't have seen me drawing a portrait just to draw a portrait, but now I'll see a portrait and think, what if I could draw that? And then I actually try, as opposed to just like trying, getting frustrated, finishing it, being angry at how ugly it is. Now I try. If I don't succeed, it's fine. If I do, it's, it's the best feeling. I also feel like this comfort comes from having a sketchbook that I really enjoy. I noticed that in my big sketchbook, I was very, very uncomfortable and I almost didn't even want to use it. So when the materials I use are comfortable to me, maybe that makes it so I'm more comfortable with being uncomfortable in the subjects that I'm drawing. I don't know if that made sense at all. Ah uh, yes, the line work. Line work to my art is like eyeliner to my eyes, all right? It opens everything up, it defines things, it makes things look a little bit better. And in the case of my artwork, a lot a bit better. I really strayed away from black line work for a while. I wanted to challenge myself to either not use line work or use colorful line work. And I don't know, I enjoyed that process for a while and I still do it sometimes, but there's something about a crispy black line, a crispy, nice black line defining where all the edges are. It just feels nice. It feels nice to do. It feels satisfying to watch. I don't know what it is. Can somebody please teach me how to do other things? Because I just keep resorting back to it. All right, now that I'm done wanting to talk about the artwork that you're seeing, I wanna talk about what you guys are doing in your quarantine. I personally am playing Animal Crossing nonstop. Any moment I get. Today, I worked from 10 to six. I got off, I played Animal Crossing until 10. And now, <laughs> and now I am editing until the wee hours and then I'm just gonna do it all again tomorrow. I don't know what it is. I literally prioritized Animal Crossing. Yeah, I prioritized it. I can't go without it, guys. I'm like super grateful for it too because when I'm not working or I'm not working on some kind of personal project, then I'm able to play Animal Crossing and not have to watch the news all day. We stand in distraction. So obviously I couldn't stop at one spread, so on to the next. You all know that drawing dudes is super hard for me, so I decided I'm gonna give it another try because I can see progress. I can see how every time I do it, I get a little better, and that feels good in ways I can't explain. So I'm gonna be redrawing my little watermelon K-pop dude, all right? So I got this white guy, I made him look a little Asian, I'm gonna give him watermelon vibes, and we're gonna test out these Ohuhu markers. A tip for using alcohol-based markers, when you do the line work, try to use a marker that is water-based. Because if you use an alcohol-based marker, it'll definitely smear if you don't wait long enough. And honestly, I hate having to wait forever for alcohol markers to dry for the line work. So I just use water markers 
let it dry for a few minutes and then use alcohol markers right away. Micron pens are definitely one of my faves, but I hate using them with alcohol markers. If you enjoy that, then you are braver than I. So yeah, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. My favorite villager in my town right now is Sydney. She is a delight, truly just a peach. I love her. And I recently learned how to play chess. Yeah, in my 23 years of life, I never learned how to play chess. I never really cared. I thought people who played chess were just like kind of annoying because you know, those people kind of act like they're better than you for no reason. It's like, just like really annoying. But like, I know how to play chess now. And like, sorry, everybody. I know I'm just so much smarter than you now. I am in a different level and not to say that I'm better than you or I think I'm better than you. I just think I'm on a higher level, you know? All right, I have to come clean. I'm not very good at it so far. I'm really bad at it actually. But my boyfriend says that I'm learning quickly, so there's hope for me, I think. I'm not very good at planning and strategizing for the long run, but in the short term, I'm good at making moves. And I think that's exactly how I am in life as well. And I'm not even going to try to easily move into a different topic because that's just like too much work. I'm sorry, like I put all this work into filming and editing. Narration is not my strong suit, alright? I only took one screenwriting class in college and honestly it was probably more traumatizing than anything. And you may be thinking, oh is it because you had to read your screenplays in front of everyone? No! It was traumatizing because someone in your class constantly wrote a script about her life as a phone sex operator. And it wasn't exactly her life, but she was a phone sex operator, so she wrote her scripts about them. All right, all right. I couldn't be more redundant. Now I have nothing against sex workers. But I personally would not want to be a sex worker. But guess what? This was a screenwriting class, so obviously we had to read out the screenplays every single time we wrote them. And what does that mean? That means that people in the class had to be different characters in people's scripts, and the people who wrote the scripts got to choose who was in their plays. Now I want to paint you a picture of this girl, okay? She is stunning. She is so pretty. She has the coolest style. She's always dressed to the nines and I respect it. I respect the drip, okay? She is a cool person overall and I don't wanna go against her character in any way. But she's also a person of color, all right? And there were very few people of color in that class and I was one of them, all right? I'm Asian. So every time she went to pick her characters, she was always on that diversity train, all right? She said Black Panther. She said Crazy Rich Asians. She was not gonna give it up. Asian persuasion. She gonna pick all the diverse people in that class and <sighs> that means every time I was in the class and we were reading her script. I was essentially giving everyone a vocal show, if you know what I'm saying. <gasps> no! She had me saying the raunchiest shit. I was like, I'm just an innocent country girl. Like, can you please let me stop? And there were pedophilic themes, okay? It was so uncomfortable. I would not recommend. I. I have a bunch of stories from college if you want to hear more let me know that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next week bye p.s so far i liked everything that i used in this video but i don't feel comfortable giving it a full review so if you want to see me continue to use them please subscribe